Well, howdy, Internet. This is Steve, a thousand-year home. So as you know, my uh, deal is I'm building a house that I think will last a thousand years using modern materials like shipping containers around me, as well as mixing it with historically, naturally long-lasting materials, stone, earth, cedar, timber. There's some Shinto temples in uh, the Orient, and they are over a thousand years old, built of wood without a single nail inside of them. So cedar can last a long time, uh, over a thousand years. There's some medieval villages, in fact, that are over a thousand years, many of them France and Germany and whatnot, and they are made with earth, sticks, and boards. Now, here in Texas, we have some things going on. We have the Formosan termites, right? That's going to come in and uh, temperature extremes, weather extremes. Uh, we all live in with all that. So uh, what I'm trying to do here is build a house that I will know will last a thousand years. And by a thousand years, I don't mean everything single piece of this house will, will last a thousand years. I'm saying if I know something needs to be replaced eventually, I'm engineering it in such a way that the individual who needs to service it 500 years from now can get to it. So uh, windows can last between 100 and 200 years. So I built these so that the all the windows easily come out, easily go in. Um, you know, the stained glass around me, maybe 100 years on the red uh, lead lining. So I don't know. Uh, you might I need to replace those, uh, those stained glass windows uh, 10 times. Or if a man has skills and knows how to do uh, letting, I don't. They can uh, maybe rebuild those or maybe the last 200. I don't know. Uh, PEX pipes, things I'm going to use for plumbing. I think out of the UV, if I spray paint them, take care of them 100 years apiece. So 10 times to replace the plumbing. The electric, I'm using conduit. So no matter what goes on in the future, people will be able to fill up the pipes with uh, whatever cables can pair, calling whatever. Maybe they'll just be pouring neurons right in, some kind of an alien juice. I don't know. But uh, they'll be able to do that, upgrade this house, maintain it. So anyway, the inside of it is, uh, there's two of them. There's two 40-foot shipping containers. Between them, there's a t exactly a 20-foot gap, give or take. Uh, but I will be exact when I get done, and I'll put a, a, a reciprocal roof span over it, as well as a catwalk between them. Balconies on the top. So, balconies on the top. Everything I'm doing here will be... Uh, uh, eventually the roof let me get you the picture of the roof so right now the roof is underneath this foil everything's going to be wrapped in the foil this gives me a great deal of insulated value just right off the reel up to 40 degrees difference from the outside just uh, from that reflective foil and then I'm going to put rock wool on it now rock wool is made of stone spun hot stone like lava so rock wool will last a thousand years. Animals, bugs, Formosan termites, they don't like that stuff. It wears their, uh, braids their skeletal, exoskeleton, and they stay away from it and it'll kill them. Mice don't like it either. They have nothing to eat there, nothing to eat in stone. So um, that's the kind of thing. So uh, up above this ceiling, once I get up through there, I'm gonna pour concrete on the roof and it'll be a lightweight concrete, which I haven't engineered up yet. But I'm thinking perlite is what I'll end up using. I was looking at using uh, aircrete, but I don't have uh, good enough water out here, nor a consistent enough supply. I think to make the foam, you've got to have soft water so that the foaming agent will bubble properly. Uh, at least watching other people. Sometimes they're successful, sometimes they're not. They don't really know why they're not. And I think it's because overnight the minerals build up in the pipes and they get hard water throughout the day. So one batch of water isn't the same as the next. And for me out here, uh, my, my water's not consistent yet. I haven't solved for it. So I'm using ported water right now. But uh, right now, uh, going back to the, uh, the concrete, when I sleuth it up on the top, it'll still be mostly a water carrier, even if I use uh, perlite. And that's heavy, right? Eight pounds per gallon plus the uh, cement plus the perlite. The perlite will take a little bit away. Uh, but anyway, so that'll put a little weight. So what I've done here is I've engineered a couple of cabinets, and I'll let you take a look at them. And I've been doing this for a, mo a month or so. <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit of time because these are right in the middle of the uh, they're right in the middle of the connex they're right in the middle so they are transmitting all the load from the middle so connexes are super strong you can run a you know a 10,000 pound fork truck back and forth inside of it all day long uh, it'll be fine but um 
once I pour concrete in there and set a roof on there, I don't want it to give a little bit. You know, I don't want the middle to bow. So I'm going to stiffen the middle part and uh, I'll measure the deflection as I pour the concrete and make sure. But these are not just cabinets. They will have support beams put across them and trusses put across that and they will be carrying the load of the uh, concrete up above me when I pour that. So uh, anyway, I took my time. They're four by four cedar and I, I looked that up. I think they'll uh, support uh, 280 tons is what a, a four by four post. Now Google it yourself and look it up. I'm going by my memory in the middle of a YouTube video, so I don't remember. But uh, quite a bit, quite a bit, a lot more than that. But the whole point is I put them here. Now on the bottom, you can't really tell, but uh, let's see, I'll put you, point you down. There are metal joists run across the floor every 12 inches. Again, it's designed to support a fork truck load. 80,000 pounds can be put inside of this thing. Well, it is 80,000 pounds. Uh, 300,000 pounds, I think, could put in, be put in it. But each one of those joists will be will line up to those cedar uh, line up to those cedar supports, stiffening the middle of this uh, building substantially, so that when I uh, put an upstairs walkout as well as the uh, support beams to tie both of these connexes together. Um, I get no sagging, no deflection, no weirdness. Uh, the, I'm using the box the way it's engineered to start with my engineering so I know I'm already there. And then I'm adding to it and I'm taking a look at the math on everything I'm doing just to make sure. So today what I've got going on here is I, I like these very much. They're perfect just the way they are. I'm going for a Spanish Mission vibe. I've nailed it, but um, I have some things to finish up. I need to put uh, to foil on all of the uh, where the uh, shelves will go. I need to put the doors in as well as the butterfly hinges to support the doors. And I need to do the shelves. And that's what I'm hoping to get done right now. So I'm carrying a little yard stick. I look like a school teacher, but uh, that's to draw some lines and do some work. So what I've decided here is I'm going to uh, make the shelves out of two by sixes uh, put together. So these shelves will be substantial. The first shelf will be, uh, you know, roughly two foot up and then 18 inches and then 12 inches and then the top plate up here. Uh, but I'm going to make a template for the shelves out of uh, out of this. I'll tape it together, and so then I'll hopefully the same template will be able to be done in, in all of these and um, the shelves. So I'll make a template, and then I'll cut out the shelves, and then I'll bind it together uh, and glue the shelves together. That's what my goal is today: is to make all the shelves I need. So. Uh, one, two, three, four on each one. Eight. Eight total shelves. I don't think I'll get eight out of that. I'll have to do it twice. But that's my goal right now is to uh, make a template. I'm hoping it works in all, like there's not enough dimensional change between all of these. I can make one template and it'll work all the way up. But I, I, I suspect there's enough difference between these two different cabinets because they're rough cut cedar that I'll have to... Uh, either cut or remake another template uh, for the second uh, cedar. So let me put you on pause while I, uh, I set this all up and you can watch me do it. All right. So these are just regular cedar pickets that I'm using for the back. I'll do a poor man's miter, which will be a 45 degree angle on all the boards so they all join together. But um, I need to make a little clearance with this because these will be all attached to the shelves as well, giving it more structural rigidity. All right, there we go.
All right, I built my little template there. So it fits everywhere I stuck it on that east cabinet, um, except it's a little tight on the bottom and top where the cross members are. But uh, what I'll do there is I'll just get my uh, angle grinder and just trim up the wood a little bit. It's better to be a little bit too big than a little bit too small. All right, everything's traced out. There's the moment of truth. I'm gonna run my jigsaw over all of this. All right, I'm, I'll drop the audio, but you plug your ears for a second, internet. Maybe I'll speed walk through this if it's boring. Boy, internet, I, I tell ya, the, I have managed to hit a stop on my project for the stupidest of reasons. So I have got at least four different kinds of packs, including a multi-pack of, uh, of um, various adapters, the T32, T25. So I open up this new thing of screws that I have. And I don't know if you could see that, but it is some kind of ridiculous new head that I don't have a fitting. And, and it's not just me that doesn't have a fitting. That fitting, uh, and I know uh, nobody has it because it's such a ridiculous problem. All right, enough of me complaining. But you see, that kind of stuff is ridiculous. Let me turn it off and go in my... All my supplies, if by chance, some miracle in some uh, tool belt somewhere, I happen to have this head, which I've never, ever, 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 I don't know if I can even zoom in there, ever, can you see that, is it, I don't know if it's focusing, ever use that. Well, put your comments below, internet, if you've had this kind of problem before, friends. I am just beside myself. Let me tear everything apart looking for a new socket. 
Man. All right, well, I wish that was 20 minutes of my life I could get back, so I found one. I had one in stock. I also dumped out that uh, screw box, and they had one mixed in all there. So I've got a grand total of two. Let's, let's get this thing done. All right, I'm going to recess those, glue them up, and uh, <clears throat> start building these shelves. Then I'll trim them to size later, so I want to make sure I put this in there that if I need to trim a little here or trim a little there, uh, that it'll be um, countersunk enough that I could do a little trimming here and there. Well, there we go, internet, a fairly successful evening. I, I would have even been more successful if I wouldn't have had to go play Find a Bit. <laughs> Just goes to show you, you know, when you buy stuff here and there and here and there as you go, that you don't get the same material each and every time, and there's a little bit of loss in that. But uh, nonetheless, I'm very pleased with these shelves. Once I... Uh, get them sanded to fit and put them in place and uh, I will be happy with this bill so all right so Steve a thousand year homes I'm all settled down I've uh, I lived through the bit thing but whoo lost 20 minutes of my life there to that and that did not make me very happy but like subscribe follow me along uh, I'm building some killer stuff and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and have the right bits in place and all of that good stuff anyway I'm lonely out here I put old Hank out with the cattle so he can have some buddies for a while that's not me I don't want to be too dependent on me so I don't even have old Hank hanging out with me right now so like subscribe follow me along bye